Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Yarnery. Today we're making these fabulous five minute crochet snowflakes using milk jug rings and your favorite yarn scraps. These are all made with the little scraps I had, all in these nice blues. There's a metallic one, and this one is variegated ice yarn, which I will leave a link for in the description box below. Anybody can buy this from anywhere in the world. These Kenyan acrylics are not available online. So if you're looking to use the same thing as me, it's this one here, and you get a whole bunch of different colored snowflakes from the same ball of yarn. So that is super cool. It's called Gumball. It's 100 grams, 230 meters. I'm using a 3.5 millimeter hook. You'll need one of the rings from the top of a milk jug, just a little bit that the lid connects to. A paper clip to hang up your snowball and your scissors and a darning needle. So to start, just make a slip knot. You don't need to leave much of a tail, just one or two inches. We're gonna work over it and cut it off. Shrink the loop down and put it on your hook. Grab your ring. So put your hook into the ring and get yourself situated. So hold that tail along the ring and get your working yarn ready. And then slip stitch. So I'm just gonna bring that yarn through and through. So I've connected the ring. Chain one to get a tiny bit of height. And now we're going to make our single crochets all around this ring. We're gonna make 36. So put your hook into the ring, bring the yarn back, wrap your yarn, and take off two. So that is our single crochet. Put your hook in, grab your yarn, bring it back, wrap your yarn, and take off two. So there's two single crochets. We wanna make a total of 36. So pause the video and meet me back when you've made 36 single crochets. There is our 36 single crochets. And we, wherever your tail poked out, you can just snip it off, taking care to not cut your stitches. That's why these curved scissors really help. So we're gonna slip stitch to join. So not this hot mess right there, but we're gonna go into the first actual V that you see on the top. So we're just gonna slip stitch right over there. Ignore this first bit. So jump over, you're gonna push your hook in, getting both strands of that V on your hook. Grab your yarn and bring it back, and slip stitch to join. Chain one and single crochet into that same spot. So right here, right underneath where you did your chain one, we're gonna go right into that spot and make one single crochet. So push your hook in, grab your yarn and bring it back, wrap your yarn and take off two, chain four, one, two, three, and four, and back into the same spot, one more single crochet like that, so that's our first little bump. Chain one, wrap your yarn, and we're gonna skip two. So we've gone into this stitch here, so this is our next stitch. One, two, we're gonna go into the third stitch. So we're skipping one, two, and working into the third. Wrap your yarn and go into that stitch. Grab your yarn and bring it back. We're making a double crochet. Wrap your yarn and take off two. Wrap your yarn and take off two. So that's our first double crochet. We're gonna do that again into the same stitch. Wrap your yarn and go in. Grab your yarn and bring it back. Wrap your yarn and take off two. Wrap your yarn and take off two. Now we're gonna chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. And we're gonna work into the second chain that we made, or the fourth chain from the hook. And our chains are these V stitches here. So we have one, two, three, four, and five of those Vs. So we're gonna work into the second chain up, which is this one right there. So just go straight into that stitch, the second chain you made, or fourth chain from your hook. Grab your yarn and bring it back. Turn your hook and through that last loop. So that was a slip stitch. 
chain one, wrap your yarn and two more double crochets into the same stitch. One and two. So we made a little bump and a big bump. So we're just gonna alternate making small bumps and big bumps all the way along into the th every third stitch. So we're gonna skip the first stitch, the second stitch, and we're gonna go into the third stitch. So chain one to get a little bit of distance and go into that third stitch making one single crochet, a chain four, one, two, three, and four, and one more single crochet straight into that same spot. Chain one, skip two stitches, so skip one and two and go into the third. We're gonna make a big shell, so that is two double crochets, so we're wrapping our yarn to go into that stitch. We do that two times and chain five, one, two, three, four, and five. Into the second chain that we made, or the fourth chain down, we're going to make a slip stitch. So put your hook in, grab your yarn and bring it back, turn your hook and bring it through, chain one, wrap your yarn, and two more double crochets into that same stitch. One and two. Chain one. Skip two stitches. So skip, skip into the third. One single crochet, chain four, and one single crochet. So that's our small bump. Chain one to get your distance and into the third stitch. One, two, three, into the third stitch. A big bump, which is two double crochets. One and two. A chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. Slip stitch to the second chain that we made. A slip stitch in there. Turn your hook to bring it through the last chain. Chain one and two more double crochets to finish off that big bump. One and two. Chain one. Into the third stitch, so one, two, and three. Into the third single crochet, chain four and single crochet into the same spot. Chain one to get some distance and into the third stitch. There's one, two, and three, so this one right there. We'll make a big bump, so two double crochets. One and two, chain five, Slip stitch to the second chain to make a little pico. Chain one and two more double crochets into that same stitch. One and two. Chain one and into the third stitch again. So there's one, two, here's third. So into the third we'll make a small bump. So, one, two, three, single crochet, chain four, one, two, three, four, and single crochet, chain one, into the third stitch, so one, two, and three, into this stitch, a large bump, so two double crochets, Chain five, one, two, three, four, and five. Slip stitch to the second chain. 
bring your hook through and through, chain one, wrap your yarn, two more double crochets into that stitch, chain one, skip two, one and two, into the third, a small bump, so single crochet, chain four, and single crochet into the same stitch, chain one, and now there is our last set of stitches. So we're going to skip two and make a large bump into the third. So two double crochets, there's one and two, chain five, one, two, three, four, and five. Slip stitch to the second chain to make a picot. Chain one and two double crochets into the same stitch. One and two. Chain one and now we're going to slip stitch to join. Right there we're going to slip stitch into that stitch on the side. Just push your hook in, grab your yarn and bring it back, bring your hook through, chain one to secure your yarn and now cut your yarn. Pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug that down. And this tail we can sew in. It's the 12 days of Christmas giveaway time! Today the lucky winner is going to get a 3.5 millimeter tulip crochet hook and a ball of Kenyan acrylic yarn. So how do you enter? All you have to do is answer the question in the comments box below and the question is what is your favorite holiday movie? Even if you do not celebrate Christmas, what is your favorite holiday movie for whatever holiday you celebrate? What is your favorite movie? Just put that in the comments box below and we will be drawing a random winner and announcing the winners of all the 12 days of Christmas giveaways on December 24th. So good luck and Merry Christmas! After your end is sewn in, it's time to hang up your snowflake. These also make super great gift tags or to hang up on a tree or a window. Just grab a paper clip. So take the paper clip. I use whatever color paper clip kind of matches my project. The plastic coated ones are good because if they get a bit wet or moist, they won't rust onto your snowflake. So I'm just going to use a white one and you just unfold it. So take the center of the paper clip and flip it up. Some paper clips are fragile and they'll snap when you unfold them. So then just use a different brand. Find one that is a bit malleable. So we have a small end and the hooky end. So we're going to use the small end on our snowflake and the bigger hook for hanging. So you can just decide what side of your snowflake you'd like up. I think I want this white one. So you just put your paper clip into the center of that chain that we did up there, that pico, and pinch your paper clip shut. Just give it a little pinch and then also turn this top half sideways. You want it to be facing sideways like that. Yes. So then when you hang it, it will be hanging straight. And you can even open this up more. If you have a artificial tree, this works great just like that. If your tree is a bit natural, you might want to open up this little curve. So I would just grab your crochet hook and just push your crochet hook in there and just get it to be the right size and then shut it a small amount and that gives you a nice hook on your ornament hanger. And they hang super great. I don't know if you can see it. It just hangs and wiggles. It looks fabulous. No need to block them. You can block them if you want, but I think they look great just as they are. Cute little snowflakes. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe to the channel. We upload every weekday at 6 p.m. Central Time. And we have a live chat on Fridays and lots of tutorials, lots of crochet alongs, lots of super easy projects using super simple stitches for fabulous results. So thanks so much for watching and stay hooked.